Do you love watching movies? Well, if you do, then we will talk about the guy you often see in your favorite action movies, the one and only Keanu Reeves. Keanu was born on September 2, 1964 in Beirut, Lebanon. He is famous for his great acting skills and is best known for his role as Neo in the Matrix trilogy. He's also been in a few other movies. But after the Matrix, Keanu has literally won everyone's heart. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Breathtaking. Welcome back to Action vs. Motivation. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our latest episode. In this video, we are going to look closer into the life of Keanu Reeves. Of course, we know him as an incredible actor, but do you know how his career started? Or what was his life before he became an actor? Or what he does today when he is not in front of the camera? Without further ado, here are the 15 facts about Keanu Reeves. Number 15. His name means cool breeze over the mountains. Keanu's agent said his first name was too exotic for ordinary people. So when he first started his career in Hollywood, he was sometimes called as Casey Reeves, Norman Graves, or Chuck Spadina. He got his name after his uncle, Henry Keanu Reeves. Keanu is derived from his great-great-uncle whose name means the soft breeze rising. In Hawaiian, the shortened version of Keanu means something similar, cool breeze over the mountains. Number 14. His his father left him when he was just three years old. Keanu was born to an English costume designer from Essex and a man who lived in Hawaii. Unfortunately, his father left their family when Keanu was just three years old. They kept in touch until he turned six, but the last time they saw each other was when his sister Kiana was 13 years old. During this time, his father went to jail because of heroin. His parents got divorced, but later on, his mother remarried. Keanu and his mother moved around a lot, which caused him to attend numerous schools. Due to this, he never made any genuine friendships. Also, he struggled with dyslexia, which made learning difficult for him. Number 13. He used to be in a band. Have you ever heard of Dogstar? Neither did I. Keanu used to be in a band, and they actually sound pretty good. They might have had a chance to build themselves in the music industry without Keanu's achievements outside the band, but they were competing with a battalion of great alternative bands from the 90s. For sure, Dogstar had their fun surfing the wave of Keanu stardom. The band produced two albums and one extended play during their time, lasting from 1991 to 2002. They even got an opportunity to play at UK's prestigious Glastonbury Festival in 1999. I'm sure people are happy for Keanu being musically inclined, but happier that he decided to put his acting career most of his focus. Number 12. His first acting role was in a Coca-Cola commercial. Big names in Hollywood didn't earn their fame in an instant. Most actors starts small, usually from commercials, and from there, they build up a foundation. Keanu is one of those actors, and the foundation of his career was built over a bottle of refreshing Coca-Cola. Keanu's first acting credit was offered to him by a bunch of good folks at the Coca-Cola company. In the commercial, Keanu plays a role of a cycler in a bike race. After failing to get first, he said Keanu is cheered up by his coach, who hands him a Coke, which Keanu gratefully accepts. When one of the other cyclists asks who his coach is, Keanu lovingly replies, My dad, with his arm around the man. We are not sure whether or not Keanu brought his love for Coke or his dad into his off-screen life, but we know that this is not just Keanu's only cycling experience. Number 11. He was paid $10 million up front for the first Matrix film. Keanu was already famous when he was offered to be a part of the film. At this point, he was paid $10 million up front. He ended up earning more than $114 million since the film became a tremendous success. When he negotiated his contract, Keanu gave over $80 million to the special effects and makeup staff. He believed their hard work was a big part of the film's success and they deserve an extra pay. On top of that, Keanu gave each member of the Matrix stuntman team a Harley Davidson motorcycle just because he's a good guy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Keanu being generous and kind. Number 10. He dropped out of school to pursue an acting career. After being expelled from his fourth high school, he went to Avondale Secondary Alternative School, which allowed him to study while working as an actor. However, he dropped out to pursue his acting career full-time and didn't get his high school diploma. But before dropping out at 16, he made his first television debut in a Coca-Cola commercial as I mentioned earlier. The commercial was his first major acting gig and it was his big break. Later on, he made his first studio movie 
movie appearance in Youngblood, where he played as a goalie. Number 9. He almost became a hockey star. Keanu did not do well in school, but he did excel in sports. Having dyslexia made school difficult for him. As he grew up in Canada, he took a keen interest in sports. He was into ice hockey and played the position of a goalkeeper. Keanu was so good that his teammates actually nicknamed him The Wall. Some people say he could have a career in the NHL if he hadn't chosen his acting career. Others say he had an injury that ended his hockey dream and that's why he went into acting instead. All we know is that after seeing him perform, he ended up in front of the camera and not in front of the net. Number 8. He turned down a role in the Speed sequel. After winning the MTV award for his role on Point Break as the most desirable male, all eyes were on Keanu. He was offered the lead in the film Speed with Sandra Bullock. The film was a huge success, but when it came to the film sequel, Keanu turned down a role which according to him, it was nothing against the directors and actors, but it's all about the script reading. It's just that he did not like the script and he just can't do it. Number 7. He is a true philanthropist. It seems like Keanu's hobby is giving. Apart from the Matrix donation, which he gave to the special effects and makeup team, he also set up a cancer charity for Kids Foundation after his sister battled cancer. He chose not to attach his name to the organization, but he still donates money. He won everyone's heart with the Matrix, but Keanu's generosity will make you love him more aside from his acting skills. Do you want more? Then stay with us until the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Action vs. Motivation and ring that bell so you'll get notified with our latest videos. Number 6. He defers his salary to get other actors in his movies. Keanu has worked with an impressive list of actors in different movie projects, including Al Pacino, Gene Hackman, and Jack Nicholson. He gave $2 million of a salary for The Devil's Advocate for a chance to work with Al Pacino. Also, he took a 90% pay cut so the studio could bring Gene Hackman into the film. Keanu willingly deferred his production compensation to free up some of their budgets to afford the actors. Number 5. He hangs out with the homeless. If you think he is doing it for the camera, then you're wrong. He didn't do it for the press either. As you learn more about Keanu, you'll believe that what he does for the press is what the contracts only require him. The footage of Keanu Reeves unwinding with a homeless person in the side streets of West Hollywood is an outcome of pure, unexpected luck for the press. What's noteworthy is that Keanu just chilled with the homeless dude sharing snacks and drinks with him while the man told his stories. Actually, something like that shouldn't even be considered remarkable because that should be natural. Keanu's childlike curiosity and open-mindedness should be essential in everyone. Truly, Keanu is a beacon of hope and kindness, and we should all be a little more like him. Number 4. He reads a lot. It seems like he is not the kind of person who buries himself in books. Even though Keanu lacks a high school diploma, it doesn't stop him from being a bookworm. Keanu loves to read, and his literary preference suggests that he loves to be challenged by books. As a kid, he loved books like The Count of Monte Cristo, Lord of the Rings, Fyodor Dostoevsky's The Idiot, Notes from the Underground, and the Brothers Karamazov. These are just a few of the books that Keanu loves. Number 3. He can probably beat you up. That sounds scary. If you happen to see Keanu on his way to get some milk, you should probably take a detour if you are trying to steal his milk. He'll probably end up squeezing you into his milk carton after getting his daily dose of calcium. Keanu is not really a martial artist, but he went through a lot of martial arts training for the Matrix films. According to IMDB.com, Keanu has learned over 200 martial arts to prepare himself for being the one. Number 2. He rides the subway. That's right, Keanu rides the subway. In fact, he is more than just an ordinary commuter, not because of his fame. He actually gave his seat to a woman carrying a gym bag. She's not a physically impaired person nor a pregnant woman, just a regular lady carrying something a little heavy. Hardcore feminists would probably give Keanu a hard time trying to explain to him that she is perfectly capable of standing up on the metro like everyone else. But despite that, we just think it's lovely. It's a simple act of kindness. It is the one being a gentleman. Number 1. He owns a motorcycle manufacturing company. Yes, Keanu loves bikes. 
he gets around almost exclusively via motorcycle. In fact, Keanu has only ever owned a couple of vehicles, a contemporary Porsche and a vintage Volvo. His love for motorcycles runs so deep that he co-founded his motorcycle manufacturing company along with Gard Hollinger. They started the Arch Motorcycle Company where they design bikes. Both of them share the same love and passion for shaping retro and modern design elements. Truly, the brotherhood of these two men led them in starting their own motorcycle company. So there you have it, 15 facts about Keanu Reeves. Do you have something to add in our list? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our latest episode. See you at our next episode.